My name is Aaron Kyle. I am one of the instructors for first year design here at Duke University. And in this class, we focus on running students through an engineering design process, which I would argue is one of the most critical skills that an engineer can pick up throughout their education. It teaches students how to find and solve problems, not just be the people that can do something technical, but actually understand what's wrong and develop an appropriate solution to what's wrong. So this is an exhibition of the outcomes of our first year design students efforts. We've got a, a team that developed a way to transmit ores for our, our rowers here at Duke University to make it easier for the ores to be transmitted and stored. We have teams that have come up with devices that make the use of instrumentation in hyperbaric chambers safer. So there's a, a wide swath of ideas that have been exchanged here and some great solutions to some really, really interesting problems. Our project is based on being able to help patients who have had shoulder injuries or have just had sh shoulder surgery recover the range of motion in their ball socket joint in their shoulder. So basically what this is able to do is secure the scapula in place to prevent it from rotating, which allows the ball and socket joint to be stretched effectively using the pulley system for passive motion. So our client was Carlos Falcon from the Duke Simulation Center, and for him we designed this pulsatile arterial line trainer, which is intended to solve issues that exist with current prototypes that are used to teach medical professionals how to insert a catheter. So for this project we inserted a camshaft that makes a tube bounce up and down and mimics a human pulse. This is our solution to the problem brought to us by Ian Pond in the Beaver Marsh Nature Preserve. Um, trash accumulates in this strip mall parking lot. It all goes into this one curb cutout uh, and it enters this enclosure. But turtles get stuck in this enclosure. So our solution features a two-sided ramp where turtles can climb up um, and but trash gets deflected to the sides and also accumulates around the edges. So nothing enters the nature reserve. So my section is students that are involved in the energy focus. So we have this semester 17, but no more than 18 students and they're all interested in energy. Uh, sustainability, so our projects that they can pick from have an energy component to them. So dust accumulates on solar panels differently all across the world and our solution lets solar farm owners know exactly how much dust is on their solar panels so that way they know exactly when to clean it. it it's costly to have dust sitting on top of these things. It's free energy that could be harnessed just kind of going down the drain. So we wanted to do something with that. We thought it was a really cool idea. We thought, you know, why has no one thought of this before? and we thought it was something realistic that we could actually build and put the use. They get to work on this design project through the whole semester, so you see moments of, I don't know if this is actually gonna work, I can do this, to then the final presentation, which is just a moment where they can be really proud and excited about the work that they've accomplished and the growth that they've had. 